Hello everyone! Today I am going to be doing a video for the Birthstone Says People collaboration. It's a collaboration with a bunch of small art YouTubers and we are all taking a birthstone and designing a character based off of it. So these are some sketches that I did on my previous sketchbook that I had just finished and I just drew some sketches on the back based off of the birthstone ruby. So I'm just going to quickly talk about each of these before I go into the actual illustration. So the one at the bottom is based off of how it's mentioned in the Bible for Ruby. And it's basically uh, talked about as like beauty and wisdom and all that. So that was why I did the one at the bottom. Uh, the one right next to the crown is because rubies are often associated with royalty. Even though some rubies that are like royal rubies are actually spinels, they are usually associated with royalty. So that's why I did the one on the far right. The one in the middle is because I actually read online that uh, a lot of rubies are actually really a bunch of different colors like brownish red, purple, pink, whatever, and they get their uh, bright red color by being heated in flames. So I wanted to show that. And the one on the left is because uh, it's often associated with protection and like defending you from danger and that sort of thing So I just gave some like ruby armor to this guy and gave him a sword so uh, The ones that I liked the best out of these sketches that I did on the back of my third sketchbook was the one on the left with the guy with the sword and the guy on the right with the crown and the cape so here I'm just pointing to like the sword and the armor, just showing like these are the things that I'm going to be doing, as well as the guy's face. For the left, I really liked it, so that I was going to be including. So like the other sketches were great, but I think these were the best ones that I had. So here I'm just going into the final illustration, and I started sketching the pose here, and I'm trying to think of this guy's like backstory while I was sketching out this like almost like practice stance for like practicing his sword fighting and such. So I was thinking like maybe this guy is like a prince but he really wants to like defend his kingdom or something. So like he's trying to like take up sword fighting to try to protect his kingdom and like maybe he heard of like the myth of like rubies protect you from danger and stuff. So he like embedded a, a bunch of rubies into his sword. He made ruby battle armor and that sort of thing. And I also wanted to include him wearing, like, his crown and his cape and stuff. And here, you could see me drawing, like, hexagonal-shaped, like, eyes and nose. And that's because uh, I heard, like, the crystallography, which is, like, how the uh, molecular structure is set up for crystals and metals and things. I'm pretty sure it's just for, like, uh, crystals and minerals, but... Uh, the crystallography, which is like how it's like structured, like I said previously, is like hexagonal, so I wanted to include a, a bunch of hexagons everywhere. <laughs> so here you can just see me uh, doing the line art for this pose. And I really liked the pose, and I really liked the uh, art so far. So I was just uh, lining everything in because I thought it looked really great and really awesome and stuff. <laughs> so here you can just see me using the roller to try to make sure the sword is really straight <laughs> and then I moved on to like the battle armor and his arms and stuff and I accidentally made his arm too skinny so I had to re-go over that um then I used my microns to do his face and the jewels on his crown before I brought in my bear eraser and started erasing everything so then I started to fix his arm and then start with the coloring and with the coloring, I had started with um, the skin. And I wanted the skin to be really pale, not because like it's anything to do with rubies, but because I wanted to re the red to stand out more. And I felt the red would stand out more if his skin was like a paler color. So you could see me like kind of going over that a few times just to make sure it looks right before I started going in with the eyes and his hair. And I wanted his hair to be like, or a really bright red, you know, sort of like rubies, and wanted to make him a redhead because of rubies, so. And you could see later that I just 
really go <laughs> all in with the red. And uh, here you could just see me going over the ruby that's on his cape and starting to put the gold in a few places because I felt the gold would really work well with rubies. And here I'm going into the ruby battle armor. And the battle armor was not hard per se, but I wanted to make sure that I got all like the shininess and like shading of it, which was kind of hard to do at first, but I think I got the hang of it. And you can also see that I bring p my Posca pen into this quite a few times. And that's because I do have a uh, white gel pen, but that wasn't working as well for like bigger spaces. So I needed to bring in my Posca pen. And here I just went in for the cape and the pants and the sword. And the sword, I brought in more gold and also a warm gray uh, before I started doing the pants and the same warm gray. Because I, if I was going to include a color that wasn't red, I wanted it to at least be in a few more places. That wasn't necessarily the, the uh, highlight of the whole piece. So I also did the shirt and the cape. And I had to go over the shirt and the cape a couple of times just to make sure that those didn't seem like the exact same piece of clothing. Uh, so I also did the boots in red because, again, wanted to have the red in a bunch of places since this is sort of ruby as a human. So I uh, did that as uh, red. And then I also d drew a ruby off to the side just to show, like, hey, this character was based off of a ruby. So I was just sketching that a little bit and started to do more of the, like, going over things now just to make sure that everything looks okay. And there was a little scuff mark on the face, so I tried to fix it. And so I kind of brought it off camera for a little while to try to see, like, hey, what's wrong with the face. So I think I fixed it eventually because I just made it like a shadow that like was going over uh, this guy's face because I was thinking like, hey, well, maybe he's like in a practice battle stance trying to practice his sword fighting with somebody else. And that person's silhouette was bringing a shadow over this guy's face, that sort of thing. So then I just kept going until the piece was done. <laughs> so I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. That would be greatly appreciated. And I also don't know what to name this character. Like, I want to give this guy a name, but I don't know what. I was thinking of, like, Rupert or something, but I don't know. If you guys have a name for this character, please let me know in the comments section down below. And I hope you have a magnificent day, and I will see you all later.